In this video, we'll explore how we can use the AEC tools within Caddy to insert a bay window into a wall. And here we see examples of that. So we've got an octagonal bay and a rectangular bay. And here we've also taken that rectangular bay and modified it to give us uh, the beginnings of our construction drawings too. So if we just take a top view here, and we'll see that we've actually started to produce our construction drawings from the, the automatically generated section. So let's take a look at our, our starting point. So we'll just get ourselves some free space and draw ourselves a wall. So we'll go to the quick wall tool, so four meters in height, 200 millimeters wide, and we'll draw something that's uh, maybe four meters long or so. So there is our, our wall. We'll go to the doors, windows, and opening tools now, and we see that we have the bay tool. So what height do we want for the walls? What width do we want for it? Well, we're going to do a rectangular bay, and maybe something smaller would be uh, more in, in keeping here. So that's the width of our bay and the depth of projection from the wall. And we have the head height and the height of the window. The pitch, the fascia, determines the, the depth of the roof there and the overhang. So we'll OK that. It says indicate the position for the bay. If we're setting it out precisely, we can use uh, snap modes and construction lines. I'm just going to position it freehand in this particular instance in this direction. And just following the prompts on the command line there, it says indicate the side of the wall for the bay. So is it on the top or the bottom? Well, we're going with the, the bottom side. And there is our bay window. And we can see the opening has been formed too. Using the shift key on our keyboard and the left click mouse and the middle mouse button, and then doing a, a regen, uh, we can see that we have now our 3D bay window complete with opening. And if we press escape to kill the command off or use the board on the right click context sensitive menu. Then selecting the particular objects within our bay, we can see that we have an opening. So cutting the opening in the wall. And of course, these all have grips, which we can use or we can dictate the properties from the object properties as well. Pressing escape again, we'll see that we have our walls there. We have door window and assembly for both the front and the side. And then we have a roof object there for our, our roof. And of course, being a roof object, if we want to alter that, so just going back to the top view now, so we'll go to top view. If we select our roof, we can use the AEC tool to edit that roof. So we can pick on an edge here, for instance, and turn that into a gable. We can pick our hip section and make it into a gable. And there is our, our roof now. We have something to, to change here though because we need the wall to meet up with that roof. So going to our walls tools, we'll choose the wall to roof command, selecting our wall well away from other walls or other objects. And then we just pick the roof and you see that will work out all the junction for us, all the junctions for it. Do the same thing on this side and we have our bay now with a simple roof pitch back into the into the wall. In order to produce uh, construction sections, we can then look at taking a simple polyline and making a profile from that, which can then be added to our automatic section. So let's have a look at what we we're going to do there. We'll see that this is. A uh, polyline, uh, a closed polyline, so it says closed there. So we just trace around a, an outline for it. We can select the polyline. We can go to our AEC tools, make a profile definition. We'll call it new face here, and we'll indicate an origin of the profile. So here I've got a, a construction point just to give us the projection that we want above our, our roof. Do we want any additional polylines? Well, no, we don't. So there's N on the on the key uh, on the command line there. So we just accept that with an enter. Under the AEC Style Manager, we can now go to our roof slab edge styles, and here we'll create a new one. So I'll call it 
new fascia style, apply that, go to the design rules and we're going to draw a fascia with a profile new fascia that we just uh, created from our drawing. We're not going to adjust its height in this particular instance, we'll just keep it as it was drawn and then apply that and then close. In order to create that edge detail on, on our roof here, if we take a look at what we have, we have a roof, an AEC roof. If we want to apply an edge style, we need to convert that in the first instance to a roof slab. So under the AEC tools, under roof, we'll say convert to a roof slab, erase the original, so there we have our roof slab. We can now select that roof and apply using the AEC tool an edge modification. So we'll go to our edge and we'll see that this is indicating this bottom edge for us. If we choose the other one, uh, we'll have the, uh, the other edges indicated in the, the dialog here. We'll choose from the standard list the new fascia style. And of course we can modify the, the overhangs uh, as well as other features in, within there as well, including the uh, the edge cut, whether it's vertical or angle. OK that, and then we'll see that when we just do a, a regen, we have now included that fascia detail within our model. And going back to the top view, we can simply, under the AEC tools, select plan sections elevations, vertical section, a quick section here, we'll use the tab key to hold ourselves vertically, right click, option end, indicate the direction we want to look, and then place down our, our section. And then to finish it off, so there's our fascia detail employed, if we just draw using a simple line to give, us, give ourselves something to snap to with the roof tool in the SA uh, underscore architecture application, we can apply a roof tile, so just going from a selection of uh, roof tiles there, OK that, and indicate the line that we've drawn, and there are roof tiles too, so we can then just finish off uh, embellishing our section to, to give us a full construction details. So there we have a very quick way of creating both a bay uh, as a, a model, but also getting uh, uh, the basis of our construction drawings from it too.